what is up guys this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi Note 10 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you how can you switch ROMs or how to actually flash custom ROMs on the Redmi Note 10 Pro or any such devices and I would say this is gonna be a complete guide for any ROM flashing kind of stuff for the Redmi Note 10 Pro so let's begin well if you haven't seen the previous video which I made on the AEX or the AOSP extended ROM I'll link a card or check the description for that but today in this video I'm gonna be completely showing you guys how can you change ROMs like I'm currently on the AOSP extended ROM Android 11 I will switch to a uh, Android 12 ROM which is the MSM extended ROM I have already downloaded all those let me actually show you the ROM file so this is the ROM file actually extended access first blood gapps included build this is the 14th December 2021 build again for this ROM and I will use this particular firmware which is this 1258 MIUI firmware I'll link all those things in the description you can also use the 1252 firmware don't worry but I will use this MIUI firmware which is about 739 MB you can also use this one 730 MB and this is the 1252 you can use any firmware over here the main thing that you need to actually flash around on the Redmi Note 10 Pro or I would say you can use it for the K20 Pro as well that is a USB device this is a USB flash drive I'll link it below if you don't have one this is a dual drive kind of stuff and as you can see there is the normal USB A type is USB C it doesn't have to be dual drive a normal pen drive should do so on this particular drive let me actually show you right here so this is the SanDisk app and over here if I open the files here if you're noticing I have this particular firmware and again we have the extended access first blood ROM over here so I'll switch to this particular ROM so how do you do that let me show you right now so first things first you reboot to the recovery and you have to have TWRP recovery installed on your device if you don't have it you can check out the cards or you can check out the description as well if you don't know how to actually flash the TWRP recovery yes on that video I have flashed the orange fox recovery but with that same method you can install the TWRP recovery right now let's just reboot to the recovery now you can notice the TWRP version this is the 3.6 official version of the TWRP recovery so here it's asking me for the pin because this is an Android 11 ROM I'm on right now and that actually supports decryption so that's why I have to enter my lock screen pin but if you are on an Android 12 ROM you don't need these pin stuff so I just entered my lock screen pin and I'll just hit write so first things first we need to format the data so for that you have to click on wipe then format data and type yes before you do this make sure you have backed up everything from your device because everything in the internal storage will be wiped after this step so right now I'm gonna hit write and the formatting is done and right now we need to do a reboot recovery so I just clicked on reboot from here and I'll just reboot the recovery this rebooting recovery step is really important because otherwise it may not access the internal storage properly so that's why the reboot recovery is necessary so right now I'm gonna go to install and then I'll click on select storage because we are going to use this OTG drive right here. So I'll click on this USB OTG and press OK. After that, I'll just redirect to the folders where I have all the files. So first things first, we have this firmware file. We will flash these and you don't need to wipe anything if you format data. So I just formatted the data so I don't need to wipe anything. So first things first, I'll select this firmware file. And let's just click on this reboot after installation is complete then this is just the firmware which I have selected as you can see this file name right here so right now we are gonna click on add more zip then we are gonna go back and then we are gonna select this extended access first blood this particular ROM so I'll just select that and just swipe to confirm flash we don't need any other particular zip because I'm not gonna flash magisk or something like that that's why I just flash this ROM file with the firmware file and that's how you can flash a custom ROM on your device and right now we just have to wait for the time being so right now the flashing has completed so we are just waiting for the device to reboot so as you can see we have the redmi logo and it's rebooting so right now yes you can remove the pen drive otherwise do not remove the pen drive while the flashing is being like done on the device so the boot animation of the msm extended rom looks just amazing And as you can see, we have successfully flashed the MSM extended ROM. This is just a setup wizard of the ROM. So I'll just select the language from right here. So it's giving me a Android 11 kind of setup wizard, not really sure why. 
Okay, so the volume panel looks like it's Android 12, but the setup wizard is actually looking like Android 11. I'm not really sure why. So this fingerprint scanner after setting up, as you can see, this icon, it is looking like it's Android 12. Let's actually quickly look at the power menu. Yes, the power menu as well is of Android 12. So, yep, we are into the home screen. Let's look at the quick setting panel. And as you can see, the quick setting panel is definitely looking like Android 12. Let's disable the heads up because I don't like that. You can click on edit and of course you get plethora of quick setting panel options as you can see rom again already feeling like it's very smooth experience and here if i go into the about section as you can see we have the msm extended logo up top let's just disable the dark theme for the time being so that you guys can see it better and as you can see the msm extended logo right there android version is android 12 we get this clock we make it on like this 12 o'clock and you get the android 12 Kind of easter egg we have the phone specifications then the device name and stuff the extended version shows as xs first blood official build the maintainer's name is basarath and the security patch is interestingly of december 5th 2021 so that's great and again this is the 13th or 14th december build right here includes the g apps again let's just go back from here let's go into the system and this is how it looks like we have this device specific settings and the streaming you can enable from right here and if you're noticing we have these me audio direct options i'll just set it youth edition for the time being let me go back the high refresh rate option is there and 120 hertz is selected right out of the box for me and here in the settings panel on top we get the extensions and here we have all the customizations so pretty much talking about the customization i'll show you the, those things later on but again this is how you flash a custom rom on your device coming from any other rom like coming from android 11 or android 12 this is how you clean flash a custom rom on the redmi note 10 pro and here of course i have the redmi note 10 pro so yeah this is how you flash a custom rom there you have it and if you want to actually see the roms features and stuff i'll make a complete review out of this one in the future so do stay tuned for that but right now i'm gonna set up the rom so already it's downloading the apps in the background but yeah this is how you flash a custom rom and if you want to know the msm extended like customization and stuff i will show you some stuff right here we have the quick setting panel customization and stuff and the status bar customizations are there again lot of customizations are there msm extended is known for a huge amount of customizations and of course it has amazing amount of those and we have the status bar padding and stuff let me go back in the power menu we have the power menu opacity already and we have the advanced reboot enabled already let me show you if you click on advanced you can directly reboot to the recovery or fast boot from right here those are amazing features let me go back actually let's just go into the gestures and the system settings and okay so it's not there Let's enable the swipe to take screenshot and let's see. Yes, it is working and everything is just blazing fast over here. If you're noticing the double tap to sleep on the status bar and lock screen, both are there. And for the navigation stuff, let's just enable the full screen navigation gestures In the gesture bar length already. We have that. So that's great. Let's just go to home. So for some reason, I can't see the pill bar. I'm not really sure if it's there. The pill bar is just not visible for me at least that's how it is as of right now maybe a reboot can fix that but yeah this is how you can enable the full screen navigation gestures i'll enjoy this rom pretty much as of right now and yeah everywhere there is a lot of stuff and in the wallpapers and styles also we can change the wallpapers from here we have the themed icons and the app grid also you can change and if i enable the themed icons this is how it will look like if you're noticing the play store icon the chrome icon etc and I'm also loving the locking and unlocking animation of this particular device, as you can see right now. This just looks amazingly beautiful. Look at this animation. So, yep, I'm going to enjoy this round pretty much. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. This is Tito from KDNT signing off for today. And that's how you flash a custom ROM on the Redmi Note 10 Pro. Some people had some doubts, so that's why I made this video for you guys to actually switch custom ROMs. So yeah, that's pretty much it guys. This is Tito from KDN Tech signing off for today and I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye bye now.